Okay, see this strip here? <clears throat> the 11 moon amnion napkin. This is a 6,000 negative ion strip. Look that up on Google. I won't have to explain what that is, the importance of negative ion. Go ahead and look that negative ion, look that up on Google. But this one here kills bacteria on contact and it also eliminates all odor. And there's a lot of other things that women are loving, like one thing more energy. It actually has a healing effect. So this is also patented by our company worldwide. No one else has it. And definitely you can get our Love Moon Sanitary napkin at Walmart or, or whatever drugstore or pharmacy. You will not find this. It's only by distributors only. So here's a strip. And we will <clears throat> go on to the next layer here. In the Cotex. And it's really wet, so sometimes it's kind of hard to open up, but here we go. <clears throat> it's pretty much cotton, okay? Totally wet, as you can see. Wow. Poor women. They have to go through that. And then we'll see the always. It's also like a cotton material. Totally, totally wet. There you go. Got my hands off here. <clears throat> then we'll see the Love Moon Anion Sanitary Napkin. It's they're protected on the sides, as you can see here. It's like a burrito. Okay, so we're gonna have to open this one up because this one is, is definitely protected. We'll open it up so. Take off this little layer here. The gel is what holds the fluid in. So we will see what happens with the Cotex, how much gel Cotex actually has in their sanitary napkin. Okay, there you go. <clears throat> we'll see, always see how much gel it has. And there you go, a little bit more <clears throat> the Cotex, but not much. Now we'll see what Le Moon Anion Sanitary Napkin has of gel. Wow, well, see? No comparison. There you go. So you can see the difference between the Cotex, the Always, and the Le Moon Sanitary back in. There you go. Okay, <clears throat> what we do now, <clears throat> if this isn't convincing enough, and I'm sure by this time you have to be totally, totally, totally convinced of what's going on here, we will see what happens if we put another 50 milliliters of liquid into each glass. There's this one here. And we'll put it on the other glass. This is food coloring, by the way, so don't get nervous. Okay, here you go. What we're going to do is we're going to put the cotton with, with the gel in one glass. And we're going to put we always also in the same glass can help it out see if it can retain or soak up 